Hey guys, what's up? It's Madison Sotieri. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share something that I learned from in my freshman year of college because a lot of you guys will comment on my videos or message me and tell me that you want your first year to be like as good as mine. You want to be as successful as I was in my freshman year and it definitely was not all fun and games like at all. I had so much fun, don't get me wrong, and I loved it and it is the best year of my life so far. I'm sure sophomore year is going to be even better, but it was rough, like at times too. I'll actually link down nine things I wish I knew before I was a freshman in college or something like that. I'm gonna link it down below. I made that last December, January. So just like, a, it's like probably like six months old now and it was like in the middle of the year. Um, I'll link that down below, but, and that kind of reiterates some of my points where I was just like, it was a little bit tough, but um, at the same time, I did have a lot of fun and I know I talk about that a lot. But today I wanted to share with you something that like made my year so like something that made my year just super awkward and made me so anxious like 24 7 basically and just st I acted like such an idiot like half of the time is because I had the biggest crush on the guy that lived next to me like literally my dorm's here his dorm's here I had the biggest crush on him for 75% of the year and I hate myself for it like it was so embarrassing okay let me just start from the beginning so literally the day of move-in <laughs> if you see my move-in vlog i'll link that down below too it's like seriously my most popular video on this channel but um in the middle of all of that i had my door open while i'm unpacking and my roommate hadn't gotten there yet so it was just me in my room and this guy kept walking like past my door, this older guy, so he looked like a dad, like kept walking past my door. And I was the only one up there. Like my family had already left. And um, I was just like, what? Like, why does he keep looking at my room? And so I'm just like unpacking. And then he stops and he's like, how'd you get your bed lofted or something like that he like asked me something like that and I was just like oh I requested it like in the middle of the summer when I um had that option to request to have them loft my bed and that's when I did it like last June or something I don't know what I was telling him because this was in August and he's like oh well my son did that and they didn't like loft his bed like all this and I'm like oh well sorry like that sucks and like I went and looked I like followed him to the dorm next to mine and went and looked in there and I saw the guy that lives next to me like the one his son and I was like uh, like damn like and I like kept it cool I was just like mm, cool like nice like nice bed <laughs> what like literally I like go over there and I was like so cuz he was oh my god he's so cute and I uh, I don't think he knows that I make YouTube videos so this is good I want to share this to you guys cuz it's so funny and I think this is gonna this is bound to happen to one of you or if you've already been in college like let me know if that's the case too but oh my god I had the big especially with like co-ed dorms so then it's like in your hall there's boys and girls you know then I feel like it's more likely than if it's like all girls in your hall or all boys or whatever um and so I was like talking to him and I, I feel like I said something like dumb like that like oh your room looks cool or something and it was like not even like unpacked yet like what Madison <laughs> like was stupid and I was just like trying to be cool and I was just like oh like this is my room and he like followed me into my room because it was like right next to his and he's like oh like yeah this is cool and like we were like talking and we like introduced each other and stuff. I talked to him a few more times after that like I would just walk by and I'd go talk to him and I met his roommate and his roommate was really cool too. Um, and I like became pretty good friends with them and I like talked to them and I'd go over there and hang out with them like every once in a while because me and my roommate were in this big fight at the beginning of the year where we didn't talk at all so I'd go over there a lot and talk to them and hang out with them and I'd like seriously like fall asleep sometimes like just like sitting there and I like wake up and I like, leave because I just like got like so comfortable hanging out with this guy let's give him a fake name how about <laughs> I want to give him I'm gonna name him Phil because I literally was like looking at my camera and my camera right now is on a this like round box that's not even like a cylinder box that holds my ue boom and then a uh moisturizer like a cetaphil moisturizer now let's just see the fake name phil because that's funny because it's like my, my camera's on a cetaphil can not a cetaphil moisturizer right now so phil's gonna be his name so yeah and he is seriously so cute and we like got along really well he was really nice um he seemed like and i couldn't tell if he was just being really friendly or maybe like liked me i don't know i was like kind of like eh, probably and like literally when i first met him i'm like don't don't start madison like literally that day the first day i met him i'm moving i'm like do not because he is so hot he's like out of your league and he probably has a girlfriend so just don't like get that out of your brain okay and so I like really followed that, but then we like got close and we'd hang out and stuff and we got along really well. 
and we'd like Snapchat and like stuff like that. And so then I like caught the feels because he like was like retaliated, I guess, or like reciprocated. So I'm like, okay, this is lit. And so then like one day, you know, I don't even know what happened. We were like messing around and then like, like we kissed and stuff and like some stuff happened, whatever get on with my life and then it happened again and then we like hung out and then some stuff happened again and I'm like yo like so are we friends like what's going on and he's like yeah like we just I literally had the biggest crush on him like some stuff happened but then we're like oh like as long as we don't get too crazy like with feelings we can still be friends like maybe we should chill whatever and then it like we hung out like a couple times after that and we're just like just acted like friends and it, it was like okay I have seen so many videos in this one video if you guys saw the videos I made the video I made in my dorm talking about I think it was like the first time I got my heart broken or something like that something like that um, when I was in high school, I was talking about that guy and I had a big ass crush on him at the beginning of the year when I met Phil. Then, and then I like obviously started like not thinking about that because I liked Phil. But then like, there was one time I was like hanging out with Phil and we were watching this show that this other guy, I, his name is Ethan in the other story time, Ethan really liked. And for some reason, I'm this stupid. Like this is like when it started going like downhill with Phil because I was like, well, I mean, it never really went downhill. We were just like friends, so I guess it wasn't ended up really being bad, but I like said something so stupid one time. I was like really sitting there and I was like, oh yeah, well, this one time I was hanging out with this guy and I don't even know. I just started talking about Ethan around him because it reminded me, it was like Ethan's favorite show. So I like started talking about him and Phil's just like, okay, like, okay. And so then it like, it just after that, it was just like, and I don't know. And I acted really like this every time I would hang out with Phil, I would just like, just talk so much and act like awkward and weird and I think he's just like oh my god you're crazy like <laughs> but like yeah I don't know I, it was like going really good and then we were like kind of messing around and then I caught the feels but then we were friends then it was all right but then we just didn't hang out that much at all like during second semester just because like I don't know it was just like different like different like schedules different things going on so like just being busy with other things so it's like fine but I still would be so awkward every time I would like see him in the hall or something like that or like around I would be literally so awkward like as awkward as I could be like that's me like so awkward and like I would always be so afraid to like look bad if I saw him which is annoying because like my dorm's here his dorm's here so it's like if I'm like walking past his room or something and he's out I don't even know like if we were out at the same time in the hallway or something or I would just see him I would always be like oh my god like why are you looking like a troll because I used to go to class without makeup on and there was this one time I have a picture of it it's so funny I went to class wearing my North Face headband with my hair down and straight and I had my uh VS pink uh ultimate half zip to like keep me warm because it's like the winter time no makeup my leggings and my snow boots and I looked Oh my god, I would look like a wreck, but I didn't care because I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go to psych and whatever classes I have after this, like, who cares? But then, you know, I saw him one time and his roommate, and I said hi to his roommate, and I'm like, literally walking so fast past him, and he was like right there, and he's like, hi, like, what the hell? Like, why you like, I like trying to ignore him or something so he didn't see me, but like, he saw you, you walked right next to him, like, I don't know, I have some issues, but that made my year, like, it made me so anxious all the time because, too. I would film in my dorm room too and I would always be so afraid that they would hear me because like the walls were concrete but you could hear basically everything happening in my room and everything happening in their room so I think they probably hated me too because I played my you know my Justin Bieber what do you mean all the time like so loud like random times of the day like in the morning like later in the day like all the time and then like you know like getting involved with him like it didn't really make it as awkward like I was awkward but he wasn't awkward you know what I mean because it wasn't a big deal when, it, when all was said and done, you know, but uh, I like caught the feels and I was awkward and then I talked about this guy that I used to like in front of him and then I was just super weird all the time, so yeah, like take it from me if you're just, I don't know, try not to catch the feels for somebody that lives so close to you if you get like me and you just all the time get anxious about like looking good or not acting, saying something dumb or something, you know, because there's this one time too that I didn't see him when this happened, but I was standing like outside my door and he was leaving his room right as okay hold on so i was standing out like in my doorway with my door open in my doorway and my friends were standing 
in front of me and I was telling them this story that happened on the last day of our senior year because they were there but we were like kind of reminiscing on the story and my back was to Phil's door so I couldn't see him leave and I was like talking about because I was like trying to be so funny on my last day of senior year I'm like what time is it like that and so my arms are up and look see I'm even sweaty right now a little bit I, I, my arms are up and I was wearing gray and it was like the last day of school and it was cold outside and it was cold in the building like we had such bad weather on our last day of senior year and I was wearing a gray like sweater over top of my tank top and I had sweat like you know I could see it bad and gray and I was all sweaty and then my friend Fabula was like Maddie like why are you sweating it's cold in here and I got so embarrassed because it was like in the middle of like the hallway with people out there and I got so embarrassed and I was like laughing and she was just playing like it really wasn't that big of a deal it was so funny and everyone's like laughing you know me her and Alec and stuff we're all like laughing about it and so for some reason I had to reenact the story and tell it over again like what time is it sweaty like all this stuff and Phil like literally was like walking out of his door right and I'm telling like them that and like Alec and Fabio are like stop 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 and I'm like telling the story like laughing so hard and they're like yo just so you know like Phil just walked out and he like totally heard that and you sound like an idiot and I'm like cool <laughs> cool and there was just other times where I was just like like he happened to be coming in or leaving and I would just be doing something dumb like outside like kind of near his room just all the time and he like literally probably never cared but I just made such a big deal about it and it made me so anxious like it stressed me out like a lot of the year and yeah he was just he, he was he's so hot like I'm sorry but damn like I'm over it but damn yeah just try not to mess around unless you're gonna be serious like that's different or if you get like me I feel like it's sort of a bad idea to like kind of try to catch the feels or mess around with somebody that like lives close to you in your hallway because then you know if you're trying to live your normal life you're always afraid of like running into them or like looking bad or being awkward like I did and that like literally made me so stressed most of my year and uh, like I said like when all of a sudden done he probably like didn't even care didn't even notice like didn't like it was just normal life for him and I was just so awkward all the time and I hope he never ever ever sees this video because like damn like oh like that would be so embarrassing like just want to give you guys advice and I think it's funny and I'm you know I don't care anymore and stuff and like I'm over it so it's like not a big deal but, um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you like this video I hope you can laugh at me I hope you learn from this because like sometimes it's like definitely not worth it being like awkward all the time but um I love you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys